if you're here for the negativity, going to get mad. Because all I see is 12 and 5. What's good, people? It's your boy, Mr. Rome. Cowboys fan talk right back like I never left. What's good with y'all, man? I slept on the schedule. You know, yesterday when I first seen it, I looked at it, took a deep breath, said, I see 12 and 5. Put it out there to Twitter. Had a whole bunch of people tell me I'm crazy. Asked me who we beat last year and all this extra stuff. And um, I just got one thing to say to y'all, man. If y'all think I'm going to argue with the hundreds of people that come at me on YouTube and then the hundreds of people that seem to come at me on Twitter, every one of y'all, y'all nuts. <laughs> I'm not doing it. If you don't like what I'm saying, fine. But I'm not arguing with all of y'all. I pick one or two a day. We go back and forth. Other than that, I don't care. But as far as um this schedule, man, like yesterday I was saying that I feel like Tampa Bay, since like last year, Tampa Bay is the tone setting game, man. It gets us started, gets us rolling. I feel like we will do what we didn't do last year, get our redemption and get that W week one. You know what I'm saying? But we start off with two heavy games. I'll put the schedule up. Two heavy games to start the season because we got the Bengals next. And although I think the Bengals are being slightly overhyped, not offensively, but um, I do feel like the, the Bengals have never had the, 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 the pleasure of being what the Cowboys are every year, walking around with a bullseye on their back. So good luck with that, Bengals. Have fun with that this year because it's, it's not fun. But um, I'm looking at it like this, man. If we're going to start the season, if we start one and one, I'm good with that because the next two games, you know, you can pick who you're going to think you're going to lose to. I think we'll beat Tampa, maybe drop to the Bengals because we'll get too excited about ourselves or drop one to Tampa and beat the Bengals because they're sleeping on us. One and one. That's how I feel. We'll split. And then you got um, the Giants. I'm not even going to. Come on, man. They're going to have to show me. <laughs> I like Brian Dable, but they're going to show me. Um, Brian, uh, the Giants and the Commanders. So we're going to start off 3-1. and one. It's just a fact. 3-1. and one. Okay, then you go to the Rams and you say, can we beat the Rams? Can we beat the Rams? I feel like, unlike last year, I feel like we're a, a, a way more battle-tested, hardened team than we were last year. You feel me? So I think we can beat the Rams. I really do. I feel like the Rams are going to do, deal with what people don't expect them to deal with. Super Bowl hangover. I know Sean McVay is a hell of a motivator, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But I think the Rams are not going to be exactly who they were last year just because when you win that chip, and not to mention they got a lot of different pieces there, when you win that chip, it's hard to sometimes get back up, especially earlier in the season. Later in the season, the Rams are going to be more difficult. Early in the season, when we catch them within the first five games, we can catch them slipping. So we're going to start off five and one, or no, four and one, sorry, four and one. Then you get the Eagles. And I know they're going to be revved up and ramped up, and we're going to be and Philly, and I get it. But we got to establish dominance in the division. You know what I'm saying? If we do lose a game in the division, it'll be later in the year. It'll be later in the year. So I feel like we go to Philly, and we get that W. Five and one to start the year. Then we go to the Lions, six and one. And I know y'all like, I don't see that happening. It happened last year. It can happen. I want to hear it. And last year, we caught some Ws nobody thought we was going to get. Like, we knocked the Panthers off when they was 3-0. We knocked off the Patriots. We beat the Eagles when they, everybody didn't quite know that they were going to be bad early in the year. We knocked them off. You know what I'm saying? So it's very, very, very possible. Let's not act like it isn't. We did this last year. Knocking off the Eagles is not no special task. The Lions is probably going to be a harder game than the Eagles while you're keeping it funky because their coach is a uh, better motivator than Sirianni. Um, the Bears... Come on. Come on. Six and one. Then we get to the Packers. I feel like we'll be riding too high. We'll get to the Packers. They'll catch us slipping. Six and two. Six and two. Now, these are all just guesses. We could probably drop or win a game in different places. Do realize that. These are just guesses. Six and two. 
Then we go to the Vikings, who have been... See, like we play the Vikings every year at the Vikings. Am I tripping? I feel like we played them last four years in, in Minnesota. Why is that? It's like they're like a divisional opponent at this point. We know them very well, which means the game can go either way. You know, um, I'm a little bit afraid to say that's definitely a dub. But I'll say this: we're either going to win the Packers, drop the Minnesota, or win um, win the Packers, drop in Minnesota, or lose to the Packers and win in Minnesota. Either way, we coming out of there eight and two. It is what it is. Um, I feel like, no, no, by that time we would have had one, yeah, two losses, right? So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Now the Giants, W, sweep them, no question. Might put up a little bit better of a fight, which I hope, but we're going to sweep them. I have no doubt. Colts is a game I told you in my other video. A game we might get caught slipping on. We just might get caught slipping on. Another well-coached team, physical team, good defensive team. I feel like we could drop to the Colts possibly. I really, really do. That'll give us our third third loss on the year. At this point, we are what? We would be 8-3 and three with five games left. Is that right? Hold on. Sorry. I know. I'm tripping. No, we'll be 9-3 and three with five games left. All right? Texans, W, 10-3. and three. Jacksonville, W, 11-3. Right? Eagles. Eagles. Huh. I feel like in this last stretch of games, we're going to drop... One or two other games, and I really can't figure out who. I feel like, you know what it is, and y'all can call me Captain Kool-Aid or whatever, it's hard for me to derive ways to feel like we're going to lose. Because I'll, I'll go into this. I feel like we're going to go 12-5, and five, and I feel like if everything is going to break right, we're going to go 13-4. and four. Yes. I feel like we're going to somehow get this addition by subtraction. That's a thing. I know it don't make sense right now, but I feel like it's going to happen. I feel like we're going to be a better, more cohesive team, a more hungry team, a more physical team than we were last year. And I'm looking through the schedule, and I'm trying to – I'm just not going to subscribe to every good team we automatically lose to, which is when you do these schedule things, you see the easy teams, and you automatically say, you know what, W. And you see the hard teams, and you say, oh, that's probably a loss. But the NFL is one of those things where things flip-flop every year. And I'm tired of just doing that. You know, we could maybe drop one. I think we're not going to sweep the division. I think we go 5-1 in the division. Someone's going to get us. It might be Philly. It might be the Commanders. It might be the Giants. But we're going to go 5-1 in the division. We're not going to sweep them. That's not an easy task. We did. We got it on last year. I don't expect to do it two years in a row. So, worst case scenario, we drop two in the division. Best case scenario, 5-1. Um, and one. But I'm looking at... Excuse me. I'm looking at the rest of the schedule, man. And... I was going to do a whole thing where I picked the exact losses, but I'm probably wrong, man. I'm going to just tell you like this. I'm going to do this a little bit different than everybody else. I feel like we can definitely play with the teams that everybody say we're going to lose to. Tired of the automatic losses. We're going to 100% probably drop two games we're not supposed to and win two games we're not supposed to. And that's what I'd rather say than say loss, win, loss, win. Switch my whole strategy on the fly. Don't care. It's my channel. You can do that sometimes. But, yeah, man. I feel like we can absolutely beat the Titans, we can beat the Packers, we can beat the Rams. The Packers have lost all of their receivers. They're not the same Packers. I know they got Aaron Rodgers. The Rams just want to chip. They might not be as hungry. The Vikings, that's a flip-flop every year. The Bengals, they never played with a target on their back. That's big in itself. The Bucks are the Bucks. I got to give them utmost respect. But everybody else on the schedule, we can win all of these games. There's nobody on the schedule I look at and say that's probably a loss. Because I watched us go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Bucks, And everybody on the schedule, I'm sorry, they just don't scare me. Y'all tell me what y'all think in the comments, man. But my schedule is we're either going 12-5. and five, And if everything breaks right, 13-4. and four. If one or two things break wrong, 11-6. and Y'all get in the comments and tell me how wrong I am. Do y'all thing. It's your boy, Mr. Wrong. I holler. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Our rookie's looking good. That's the next thing we talk about tomorrow. Live video tomorrow.
Let's talk about these rookies. Peace.